In this video, we're going to take a quick review at subtracting whole numbers. Similar to addition, when subtracting, we will line up place values and subtract from right to left. So let's take a look at some examples where we line up our place values and subtract from right to left. This first example, 1948 minus 326. We'll write the 1948, and notice the 3 is in the hundreds place, so it has to line up with the 9 in the hundreds place. 326, so we can subtract. We now can subtract each digit from right to left. Starting on the right, 8 minus 6 is 2. 4 minus 2 is also 2. 9 minus 3 is 6. And finally, we have the 1 with nothing to subtract from it, and so we get a 1. Our final solution, then, becomes 1,622. Let's try one more example where we're asked to subtract some numbers. Here, we're subtracting 1,062 and 4 s minus 478. Again, we'll put the 1,062, the first number on top, and subtract, lining up the 4 with the 0 in the hundreds place, 478. We can now subtract from right to left. As we start to subtract, we first see 2 minus 8. We can't actually subtract 2 minus 8. We can't take 8 from 2. So what we can do is we can come over to the 6 and borrow one of those 10s, leaving 5 behind. And now instead of 2, we've got 10 more, or 12. Now we can do our subtraction and take 8 away from 12, which gives us 4. Moving on to the next digit, we see a similar problem occur. We can't take 7 away from 5, and so we go in search of something to borrow. Nothing to borrow from the 0, so we go all the way out to the 1, drop it down to a 0, bringing 10 over to the next digit. However, we still haven't fixed the problem with the 5, so let's borrow 1 from the 10, dropping it to a 9. And now, instead of 5, we have 10 more, or 15. Now we can do our subtraction. 15 minus 7 is 8. Finally, we're ready to do the last digit, 9 minus 4, which is 5, and we get our final solution, 584. Subtraction works very similar to addition in that we line up the place values, and then we subtract from right to left.